Today we will talk about problems of foldable smartphones with flexible display. We will discover from the patent how to fold the phone without breaking its display. By the way, you can use this video as exercise. For this, I will explain the problem. You will stop the video, think, generate ideas to solve the problem and invent if you can. Then you will continue watching the video to see how real inventors solve this problem and which inventive principles can be applied in this case. I am Valery Prushinsky. I am telling about inventions and patents from point of view of theory of inventive problem solving or simply trees. If you like our trees videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is patent application. Patent application number 196541 recently filed by Microsoft. The name of this application is Flexible Display Hinged Device and this invention can be applied to smartphone, to notebook or any foldable device. Once again, this is one of the inventions which people call simple. From my point of view, these inventors tried to solve very complicated problem and proposed elegant and minimalistic solution. The foldable device consists of two rigid parts. And these two rigid parts are connected with a hinge. And this hinge is located in the middle and of course it's capable of bending between them. And flexible display is placed on top of this part. So, we have a problem because middle part has to change the length. When device is fully open, 180 degree, so this part in the middle is short. When it is 90 degree bent, in open position, it's getting longer. And finally, when smartphone or notebook closed, fully closed, it should be even longer. So we have a contradiction. The bending part in the middle should be short and it should be long. Now, please imagine that you are trying to solve this contradiction in time. So when device is open, it's short. And when device is closed, it's long. What should we do? Now, please stop the video and try to solve this problem and invent if you can. Look at next picture. The middle part consists of segments. The ends of the segments can go in and out of cavity of the neighboring segment. In 180 degree open position, they are fully inserted into these cavities. Let's see 90 degree bent position. In this case, they are half inserted and half removed out of these cavities. And finally, in fully closed states, the ends of the segments are fully removed from the cavities in neighboring segments. Also, the inventors proposed to make the cavities with certain radius, so that when the tips are moved in and out, whole middle part is bending. From this point of view, one can see that middle part was initially split into separate parts. This way, segmentation principles is applied here. These parts are sliding in and out of neighboring segments. So it looks like nested doll principle, because one object is placed inside of another one, which is in turn is placed uh, inside the next one, and so on and so forth. And in order to keep these segments connected in fully closed state, the end 
of the element is slightly bent as a cap of a nail. So what's this? Principle of asymmetry or principle of preliminary anti-action? Once again, I want to tell that usually in strong inventions you can see several principles applied together. I'm Valery Prushinsky. I'm telling about inventions and patents from point of view of theory of inventive problem solving or simply trees. I invent only by using trees and recently article about one of my patents was published by Forbes, Digital Trends and some other digital publishers. The links are behind me right now and under the video. And if you like our video, please like and subscribe. 